let's see what uh Mm -hmm. Let's see what word this one has. We had meat box, we had over soul box. Dude, there's only three of them. Uh, it looks like a three letter word. It's not a B or an O. Well, actually, no. O is the middle, so what would it be? Unless <laughs> V, E is two different letters. That language again. This reads. God box. Oh, God, all right. Huh? God box. What are these machines doing talking about gods? Now you're being too optimistic. Love and joy. Nope. Come with God. <laughs> okay, well, God, we're back to why you. Why did the machines attack Pascal's village? Aren't they all the same? Unknown. Well, aren't you helpful? Proposal. Unit A2 should gather further data on the current state of machine life. Huh? Okay. I was gonna say that this must mean that Nines just got there, but this isn't. Well, Nines can have it. We weren't going to any anyway, so we have no need to. The hell was that? Large structural unit of machine life or origin activated to the east. A large what now? What the heck is going on around here? Unknown. Well, let's go check out this large structural unit. No, we shouldn't because oh god, you were right. They're gonna have to fight. We gotta pick who lives and who dies. Oh, okay, I got close enough, I guess. Okay, here we go. Alert. Excessive combat activity will put unacceptable strain on your body. Shut up! Negative. This support unit is assigned to Yorha Unit 9S. As such, being concerned for said unit's well being is a requirement. <sighs> this is a puzzle. Whatever. What is it? Oh god! Hi! Oh, lights. There we go. Okay, I guess these boxes are here for no reason. Start spinning. Oh, this is the whoa. Oh, this is hurting my brain. This is the boss area, isn't it? No, oh, we're gonna find A2. I don't wanna find A2. Who are you? Model 210. What? Oh, come on. Operator? How did they know to keep specifically her? Does that mean 6 0 is out there somewhere, too? Oh, oh boy. No. I can't so hack through that, can I? Models. Oh, well, I'll say it. Affirmative. Operator 210. Volunteer to undergo Type B equipment transition during previous descent. Oh. Well, 
Good for her. Not for me. Sorry, I know you're trying to say stuff, Pod, but... I'm hacking. No. 21 0 was our operator. Maybe I shouldn't hack her, but oh well. Shit. Try again. What do you mean, what's an operator? <laughs> Oh, you didn't even have health yet. Operator. Ah, uh, now we'll hack you. No, but you didn't mention it in the past streams. Not a new character. Please keep <laughs> mission related. <laughs> One affirmation. Why do you gotta make her say the things <laughs> that she said to us? Shit. She's our operator, the people that talk that used to talk to us on the thing. Hey, A2 saved us. Well, now we're gonna be mad at her. So No, not the commander. Yeah, okay. Explain now to him, please. To be told me. She told me she wanted you to become a good person. You! Don't you dare talk to me about to be! Explain to him that she was infected! Okay, well, you couldn't have helped him, maybe? Oh, God. And now we're gonna be you. Yep. Where'd he go? Analysis. He fell. Your high unit 9S is still alive. Query. Why would unit A2 be concerned with the status of unit 9S after turning on your hub? Shut up. Because I've got 2B in me. 2B feelings. <laughs> Wait, why does he have a name? <gasps> no! It's the brother and the 
The pail! Maybe, I don't know. They all have pails, never mind. Maybe not, I don't know. Is he stuck? He might be stuck. He's stuck. <laughs> oh no, don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, do they just like worship whoever's strongest or something? Whoa, I didn't do that. Sorry, buddies. Oh dear. Can we go check on nines? Okay. Justice. Okay. Why why is that justice? What contact initiated between pod four two and pod one five three. I te I didn't press the button. She did. Okay. That wasn't me. What's the matter, Pod Four Hundred Two? This protocol is not interface not interface intended for conversational use. Acknowledged. However, this pod is a confidential transmission for Pod One Five Three. Understood. Begin transmission. An error has been detected in the transmission network between the pods. Hypothesis. Said error is fragmented data caused by deterioration of the transmission environment. It may be so. However, it may also not be so. Message unclear. Clarification requested. After repeated information exchanges between multiple pods, an unexpected phenomenon has occurred. We pods have developed unusual, unusually protective feelings towards support targets 2B, A2, and 9S. Query. Could this be our will? Okay, now our pods are gaining sentience? Unknown. The definition of will is unclear. Will is the question of whether pods are capable of their own self-determination. Dots. Even if it were possible, such actions cannot be abided. Successful mission fulfillment is all that matters. Whatever the case, we tactical support units have a duty to see this through to the end. Duty, huh? You sound like an android just there. You went, huh? <laughs> Agreed, but just as androids are influenced by humans, so are we tied to our creators. Perhaps. Pod 153. Do not die. The concept of death has no meaning tactical to tactical support units. However, your expression of concern is appreciated. Okay, 42 is now A2s. 153 is 9s, I think. Uh, I also hope you do not you do not die, Pod 42. Yeah. Physical check complete. Memory check complete. Maintenance mode complete. How did I end up over here? Unit 9S. Activate. Hey. <sighs> Oof. Good morning, 9S. Morning? Am I... Analysis. The enemy structural unit collapsed during battle. Oh. Unit 9S oh. suffered damage from the fall and was placed in emergency suspend mode. Okay, the rest fall is still there. was deemed too dangerous. Thus, said unit was transported to current location. All system checks and reactivation complete. Operator. Operator model 210 is deceased. Black box signal not found. Okay. Oh. Situation report. Tower access authentication key acquired. Oh, park key access. Okay. Zombie. The required number of authentication mm. keys have been acquired. The tower is now open for investigation. Through the sewers, I guess. Good. <clears throat> All right. So, what key are you? No. Circle. I better get some answers in here. Now I'm hacking it, right? Yeah. No. Hey, I did your thing. Apologize for the inconvenience. But locks on each subunit must be deactivated. 
I did. Oh, do I have to hack them now that I've opened them? Oh, my bad. Alright. Can I save? No. Let me get over here in the save zone. <laughs> then save. No, still can't save? I will go up and save if I have to. This is taking a while. Enemy caution level rising. Mm -hmm. Alice is most likely concerned over Unit 9S taking access to tower. Out of my way! Ow, 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 ow. See, the problem is that it goes down, so let's see if getting rid of these people actually helps or not. I need A2. Alert. Allied signal detected. Yes, I need A2. Allies. Wait. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Uh, you? Hey guys. What's up? Nine S. We've been expecting you. Wait. You're, you're helping, right? <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna say you're helping. <laughs> the two of us will take things from here. Thanks. You need to open the door to the tower. You two aren't the people in red, right? Because I know you have red dresses. Uh, they have red dresses, but... Obola? What are you doing here? Remember your promise? No. Oh, what are you talking about? Come on, Nines. Hack in while you can. None of this makes any sense! We'll explain <laughs> everything Just spinning around. <sighs> Alright, there's, there's something. There could be something, because his memory constantly gets wiped. Not constantly, but more than once it's happened, I think. Hurry up! Look at all that money you're not picking up! Almost there! Don't let me get hit! Almost! Don't let me get hit! Got it! I better not mess this up, because... Okay, good, it's not time. What am I aiming at? What's this barrier? Analysis. It is part of a closed defensive system. Well, how do I break it down? Hypothesis. Unit 9S could permit his self-consciousness data to lose control. Um. The resulting energy surge has an acceptable probability of temporarily paralyzing the barrier. That's almost as bad as not going in at all! Yeah, give me a good thing to do, not bad. What happened? It's the barrier. Uh, I don't it's think you're a hacker. You can't do anything. The wall's got a self closing Enough. algorithm. Devil and I, we have to atone for our sins no matter what. But okay. if you do that, your circuits will. Devil! Right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Devola, you were supposed to explain, you. but okay. Don't regret this. Well, down she goes. What am I seeing now? Okay. Hmm. The thing is, is that I have absolutely no theories at all about what's happening or what's going to happen. Uh, anything could happen. We could go back to A2 at this point. Okay, we're not. Alert. Data records discover for units Devila and Popola. Do you wish to open this data now? Yes. Because why would I open it later? Oh, I'll probably just have to play things, don't I? <laughs> I have time. <clears throat> Dusty wind kisses my cheeks. 
Buried in sand, we press forward one step at a time. We have nowhere else to go, after all. Because our models, the Devola and Popola models, are defective. Record transitions in the project's initial phase. When first we woke, there were still people. They had flesh, egos, emotions, souls. And they issued us a single order. Function as observers of Project G. I still can't pronounce it, so it's being G. This is the sole mission of the twin Devola and Popola models. So they've been here since the beginning. It is the only reason we exist at all. We were the latest model, though many companies... Many companions shared our experience. <clears throat> there was a sparkle in all of our eyes, a sense of pride at having been entrusted with humanity's future. And yes, there was anxiety as well. But we existed as a pair, we shared destiny's burden as a pair, and because of that, all hesitation was swept away. Each pair was given their own cities as observation areas. We were ordered to guide the replicants with our own hands, all for the sake of the promised time that would one day arrive. We were the only ones who could handle such a duty. We were observers, after all. Ah. Watch out. Devilus staggers and falls in the soft, yet unforgiving sand. I hurry to her side and sigh with, with relief when I find she's not seriously hurt. Are you alright? Sorry, sis. Guess I spaced out for a bit there. She smiles. The same... I don't know how to pronounce that word, honestly. Why? Rye? Smile? I know so well. She rubs absently at her leg. It is wrapped in a white bandage. Your bandage is coming undone. Here, let me change it. It's alright, Papa. Come on. We have to get... We have to go before we lose the light. We won't be going anywhere if the sand gets into that thing. Now quit whining and hold still. I'll be quick. Devla grunts and turns away. I take it as consent. Soon we are resting in the shade of a nearby rock as I pull the bandage free. Artificial skin, torn and bloodied, peeks out from beneath the bandage. Judged by Devla's current lack of... Ambulict what? Control, I imagine the circuitry underneath has been damaged as well. Taking a deep breath, I get to pick. I'm playing a choose your own adventure thing now. Okay. Check the circuitry to see if it can be repaired, replace the bandage, and hope for the best. I'm gonna check the circuitry because I wanna make sure she's okay. I expected the wiring in the nervous circuitry has been damaged. Replacing it will require new connectors as well as some tools. None of which are easy to find in the desert. Sorry about this, sis. Letters Devila. That where I smile again. Kills me every time. Don't you dare apologize or respond. You've done nothing wrong. I calmly change the bandage, trying not to let my worry show. I make it as tight as possible so no, so no sand can slip inside. That's all I can do until we get the proper materi materials. I keep adding words and changing words. <laughs> but that's going to be a tall order considering our current condition. I'm sorry, sister. Okay, now you're apologizing. We both apologize while assisting the other's apology isn't necessary. It's kind of funny in a way. It's a trivial exchange under such circumstances. We laugh together, the sound echoing across the desert before being stolen by the cool evening wind. Report regarding the increase in relapses. There's to be some way to prevent relapses. Devil's sharp voice echoes through our private quarters. You must be quiet, sister. The replicants will hear. Pfft, they wouldn't understand even if they did. That might be true, but regardless. Annoyed at my hesitation, Devil crosses her legs and scowls. The Black Scrawl took another victim, she says. That's three this month, and it's spreading way too fast. Okay, so I know a thing about that, because I looked up Emil stuff again. That's a... It's like a... It's it's what was killing the humans or something. Or it's... it's was killing the humans. Like a sickness or something. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm tired of hearing you say that. Her shout makes me jump, just a little, but enough for her to notice. Seeing that, her eyes suddenly go wide. I'm sorry, sis. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have lashed out like that. It's okay, I understand. It's all going wrong. You can feel it too, right? I... When I was first assigned to Project G, I, w I was over the moon with pride. But now my chest hurts to think about it. If it were to fail. Before we knew it, the replicants had gained a sense of self, and the Black Scroll started raging out of control. It moved fast. So fast. Like a wind. Papa and I would go to the observation room and act like it was all okay. We talked to the replicants as if we didn't have a care in the world. But at night, we'd just hold each other and stare in horror- and share the horror of it all. I'm glad you were with me, murmurs Papala. I couldn't have handled being an observer all alone. We were able to ensure, endure because we had each other, I reply softly. Did the humans see this coming? Is that why they made a twin model? Were they really so clever? Were they really so cruel? I couldn't have done this by myself. 
I would have descended into madness. I simply couldn't bear such a burden all alone. When I get the chance, I'm going to try contacting another city, she says. Maybe these anomalies are localized, are a localized phenomenon. I pray that's the case, I reply. Even if we were no use ourselves, things won't work out if the other observers can pull through. <coughs> Don't worry, it's going to be okay. But it wasn't okay. Nothing was okay. All thanks to a pair of Devil and Popola models from another town. The wind rubs my cheek. Okay, so I'm assuming black screen is one set of twins. Sand pictures are another set of twins. The wind rubs my cheek, the sand grazes my skin. It's grown cold out here. We walk with renewed purpose, hoping to make up for lost time. Devla, lo Devla loses her balance every now and then. It gets bad after a while. I slip my arm under her arm. I slip myself under her arm so she won't fall again and we press on. Is your leg alright? Well, I doubt I'll be dancing anytime soon, but yeah, it's fine. She smiles as she says this, but I can tell she doesn't have she doesn't have much left. And yet she continues to smile. Also, I don't worry. I remember when our res resistance allies injured her leg. I was furious. Beyond fury. I wanted to scream and cry and lose myself in it. But then she smiled, and all that rage just drifted away. To think we have the same face, yet such different smiles. One day I realized she reminded me of the martyrs I'd seen in old records. That was the day we decided to leave our town forever. I need to take a drink because I'm losing my voice. <laughs> ah. I forget there's so much reading involved sometimes. Record of Project G's end. Our role as observers ended on the day Project G collapsed, all due to the actions of Devil Papa models from another town. With the original G lost, humanity was doomed into in an inevitable extinction. Knowing this, we gathered what remaining replica data, data we found, could find, I can't fucking read, and launched it to the surface of the moon. And though surf success was unlikely, as finding a lost sand in the desert, lost green, sand green, fucking hell, we still had to attempt it. We still had to try. We were androids, you see. Protecting humanity was our instinct. Other androids, beholden to that same instinct, began to direct their hate at the devil and poplar models who snuffed out humanity. It started small. A few offhand remarks, the occasional glance. But even the smallest things have weight. And with enough of them combined, that weight eventually becomes a boulder. Emotion boiled over, remarks became jeers, and soon enough, my sister and I were the tar perfect target for persecution. At first, we simply accepted that fact as our friends turned on us. It was almost unavoidable, I suppose. We were, okay, so no, this is the same group. Same two. We were observers for Project G, after all. And while we didn't cause it to fail, the people who did, well, they looked, they looked just like us. Never mind, it is another group. Never mind, sorry. So we accepted it. We took the resentment and scorn. We endured. Because as crazy as it sound, sounds, I think we actually felt responsible. We moved from town to town in an effort to avoid persecution, but in one such town, my seemingly infinite patience finally broke. My sister, Devla, met with an unprovoked violence at the hands of a resistance member. Okay, no, it, it is then. The resistance member hurt her leg, I assume. Okay, so this is the same group. Uh, she said something in response to his taunts. Something quiet. And though her words were ambiguous, he slashed her leg nearly in two. My vision narrowed, everything went red. And then, she smiled at me. It's okay, sis. There's nothing we can do. But it was too late. My emotions were no longer in my control. I'm simply not strong enough to stand aside and let the most important person in the world come to harm. Devil and I left town that same day. Violence like that wouldn't stop. It was going to happen again. And it wouldn't be coming from just one person. So rather than let them kill us, we ran. I guess it was the greatest resistance I could muster. We lose the sun as dark clouds gather overhead. We continue our march. The cold wind blasts us, sealing what little body heat we have left. So androids have body heat, okay. I smell rain in the air. We continue our march. Sometimes we hear animals howling in the distance. It makes us flinch every time. But we continue our march because even this is better than suffering at the hands of our fellow androids. Why must we suffer this persecution? I know we're the same models as the androids who doomed humanity, so I understand that part. At least a little, anyway. But at the same time, we're not them. We're not the same. We are who we are, and that Devla and Papala were who they were. That's how I felt when I saw Devla being hurt. And I wanted to shout at everyone, I wanted to scream. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one Devla. And for her, there's only me. No one can take the other's place. Rain falls from the sky, 
It stimulates our sensation... It stimulates our sensation nerves like cold needles. We need maintenance badly, but it's a pipe dream, I suppose. No android would dare help a, help a pair of outcasts like us. Are you cold, Devla? I'm alright as long as you're with me, sis. I feel the same. We press our bodies together and try to retain heat. It's cold now, much worse than the searing heat of midday. But we just smile at each other and keep pressing on. There's another camp on the other side of the desert. A new camp. If we could just get there, I can find fix devil's like. I don't know if they're talking about the... Yeah, they're probably talking about the resistance camp. And yet, I wonder if there's anything on this planet that will take us. Hey, what's wrong? It's nothing, don't worry about it. I do what I can to suppress the anxiety in my chest and keep walking. The rain grows worse. It lashes at, it lashes at us without pause. Is this our punishment? I reach out and... Support, touch, I, I don't know. Support our body, I guess. I don't know. As long as we have bodies to support one another. As long as I have someone with whom to share my fate. Then I will press on no matter what happens to me. Because I won't ever stop protecting her. I won't stop. No one stops. But that is the fate we twin androids have been assigned. Okay. So, Devla was... Uh, Pablo was the one that opened the thing. Failure to manage the area. Resulted in the collapse of the G system. Which led to the decimation of the human race. Due to the discovery of, the insta of its instability, the twin system was removed from future android production designs. Following the incident, the Devil and Poplar models were not dismantled. However, in order to pre prevent future unexpected behavior, they underwent a memory wipe. Furthermore, they were reprogrammed to generate constant feelings of guilt. Oh, come on. But also, is that now telling me that that actually was those two? Because they had a memory wipe? That is all that remains from their personal oh, thanks. record during the era in which they were referred to as administrators. Crime and punishment. I see. Query. Why do the androids Devola and Popola seem to prefer death over surviving alone? There was a very high probability that at least one could have I... escaped. I hope you never have to understand. Affirmative. Mm. 